So at the end of Carroll Avenue, there is a 30-foot alley, which is Carroll property. I don't even know if you knew, knew the existence. There used to be a bridge there when I was growing up. It was a white block on one of the flights. So they, if you go back there, someone has dumped shingles, asbestos. And, and this is what I can't understand. I think this is why a lot of people are upset at council. How can you let a creek that was 35 foot wide at one point? I know, I was on the council. We had the D8, I know, we ran that thing up every, and I know you can't do that anymore. But how did that creek get from 35 feet to 15 feet? I'm only talking about this section right here. How did that happen without somebody, somebody, seeing that that was, that was happening? Could you please send someone down there to take a look and see who is dumping that material? And I was that hoping be, today, I talked- Is that behind Burns and Scalos building about that? Is yeah. that what you're talking about? Yeah, well, the alley between Sports Aid and Bowl, it's right at the end of Carroll Avenue. Right. I'm just saying, is that what back in there is? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And that's what the. That's the, behind where Fred was. Yeah, where beyond where Fred was. So the creek has been reduced from 35 feet, I almost said 15. Now, would we be able to remove that debris from the sides with a backup? Would we be able to do that? Could I please request? I didn't that. even know it was down there. Well, that, see, that's what I mean. I mean, how does that happen? How does that happen? Doesn't somebody drive by there or look at that from across from the from the, uh, the the fire department from that place that builds pallets? Doesn't somebody see something there? You can't see it. Can't see yeah, it. absolutely can't see it. I see it. You gotta go, you gotta go out of your way to see that, and 99% of the people aren't gonna go out of their way to look at that stuff. That's well, geez, you know what? We've had three floods here in 2004. I know. And 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 you're you know you're telling me that nobody's gonna look at that? Did you know it um, was there before that you could have, you know, <coughs> let us know so that we could have addressed it? Well, um, I, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, how many times, Lori, have I been over here and said, and talked to you and said, Dredge your creek? How many well, times? In 2013, after that one, the Army Corps of Engineers went back in there and cleaned that out. I, I, Not there. Thought, I, I thought they went all the way up through no. there. Yeah. They stopped in the back. No, they didn't. Yeah. Well, they, they were the mouth of the back channel. I thought they worked their way up towards yes. there. I talked to Butch Mijo about that, and he said they only came up about 200 yards. I mean, Lord, somebody oriented about a dozen other municipal managers lobbied heavily the court to try to get permission to actually dig that deeper all the way up the whole regional trail. And it's been a year going okay. that, and we're shut down. Okay. We, so we met, with the, we met with the court again, and they are trying to re engage them on other things that they seem more willing now to, to look at. Okay, so please consider putting three-foot jersey barriers, something on this creek to build this, this side of this house. Okay? And please, widen the creek at the end of Carroll Avenue. Now again, I'm not talking about Baldwin Street. Baldwin Street is a lot of road. That's a completely different animal. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much.